Hello everybody, my name's Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is The Frugal Cottage where we talk all things money to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is my sinking funds update for July so don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So sinking funds are quite a big part of my budget and if you're new here I use my side hustle income for our sinking funds because our everyday household income doesn't cover some of this stuff and so it fluctuates from month to month as just how much I can put in here. Obviously in an ideal world this would be more than this but at the moment I'm just getting by and continuing the plan so to speak. So this is my single funds binder, it's just from Amazon so I'll leave a link below to the binder and the envelopes but let's get them out and get started. So the first one I'm going to do is Christmas. Does anyone else feel like, uh, sorry to mention the Christmas word if anyone is totally against that in August, I understand. I feel like Christmas is kind of, it'll be here before you know it, does that make sense? And so I am conscious of that this year that it's going to be very different and I have to kind of be flexible around that as well. But anyway, so how much is in here at the moment? So... Let's see, 20, 40, 60. So the £100 in there at the moment. And then I'm going to put in another £20. So £120. So it's not anywhere near where I would like my Christmas sinking fund to be at the moment. But Christmas is just going to have to be different this year. And I'm trying to not let myself feel guilty about that. It, it is what it is. It's going to be whatever we make it. So, you know... Yeah, so I've put £20 in Christmas to begin with. The next one is birthdays. I haven't got anything in here at the moment and I feel like I should probably put something in there. There are kind of family birthdays kind of coming up and I need to be slightly more organised than I feel like I am at the moment. So I'm going to put £20 in birthdays for now. Which I realise isn't a lot. But again, my budget just doesn't stretch in all these directions so £20 has gone in the birthdays budget school holidays so we're currently in the school holidays in the UK it's the summer holidays at the moment and yes they are expensive and I don't know if anyone else's children are like this but it feels like every five seconds they're asking me for a snack or something to eat or they're hungry or you know and you feel like when they're at school and nursery they're not like that and I think it's just because they're at home the kitchen's there they're not as busy perhaps as they would be, you know, clearly as they were at school and nursery, but school holidays are here and we've got lots of things still planned for them and lots of things to do. So how much is left in here at the moment? So there's just £20 in there at the moment and I'm going to put another £20 in, but that might also come out quite quickly. So £20, that gives me £40 in there. And again, I mean, this seems unlikely. I think we'll spend all of that. But if there's anything left at the end of the summer holidays, so how many weeks have we got left? Have we got three weeks left? I think there's three weeks left. If there's anything left, which is very unlikely, it will then just roll over to October half term, which is the next school holiday in the UK. So if it's not used, it, it doesn't just get kind of wasted as such, it just rolls on to the next one, doesn't it? So that's the school holiday ones. Now, school is the one I'm not going to put anything into because, not counting school shoes, I've got everything else that we need for school in September. Uniforms, bags, PE kit, water bottles, you name it, I've got it, apart from school shoes. And the reason for that is, and please tell me that you're the same if you've got children who go to school, I'm leaving that until the last possible moment so that I get the right size because no me if I'd have bought them when I bought the uniform they'd have changed shoe size before the start of term so I'm leaving it to the last possible moment which may or may not be a good idea it, it gets really busy in the, the the one kind of school shoe shop in town but I'm going to take them there as close to the start of term as I can and get their school shoes so and there's nothing in here because I spent it on all the uniform and I'll be honest there wasn't enough in here to cover so I got the uniform and then there wasn't enough to cover PE kit and school bag and book bag and water bottles. Um, I, again, this year has just kind of, I just feel like I'm just kind of floundering around all the time and I'm not my usual self at all. I'm not my organised self. I'm not prepared as much, but we're getting by. So school, I'm not going to put anything in. 
I'm just gonna have to use my card for their school shoes, but there we go, they need them. The car, how much is in the car envelope? So at the moment, the car popped, so to speak, stands at, so there's 40 pound in there. And I'm gonna put another 20 pound in there. Again, this is an envelope where I wish I had more in it, because obviously when things go wrong with your car, like it's expensive, isn't it? Even, even when you think it might not be, it tends to be. But again, it's just plodding along there and hopefully, you know, touch wood, the car doesn't need anything doing to it anytime soon. But there we go. Clothes, uh, if you're not new, you'll know how much I detest going clothes shopping. I hate it. I tend to order things online actually and then I can try them on at home and then send them back if they don't fit or whatever. I hate going to... No, I'll rephrase that. I don't mind going to the shops. I hate trying things on and changing rooms. And I've talked about this before on my channel and people agree with me. They must do something to the lighting or something in a changing room because it's just... And I've said this before, but nobody needs to see themselves in the back. So it just... Yeah. However, I do know that I need some kind of closed sinking fund. And to be fair, should this... This probably should cover the boys as well for their stuff. Although... To be honest, uh, they have a budget every month, don't they? And I tend to just buy them stuff out of that if I need it. I'll stop rambling about how much I hate clothes shopping. So in, there's nothing in here, and that's because I never plan to go shopping for clothes because I hate it. But I'm going to put £20 in here, um, which I realise wouldn't go very far if I suddenly needed some new clothes. However, I do not. And it's there just in case I feel the need to go clothes shopping. The, the things I buy most are like work clothes because I am expected to dress like a professional and so I need to have clothes that reflect that. So anyway, so that's £20 in the clothes fund. And then, oh, my favourite, well it is my favourite. I just feel like we're never gonna get here. We just, anyway, I'm trying to not dwell on the fact that I feel like we're never gonna get there. How much is in here for now? This is my favourite envelope, but it's also the one that's causing me a bit of it just caught, makes me feel a bit sad. So there's only £40 in there so far, um, which clearly is not going to get us anywhere near. But I'm going to put the final £40 in here, and which makes it £80 in total. And I'm just... You know what? If it takes me much longer than I thought it ever would take me, I'm just going to keep going. So if you watch my videos, you'll know that I have like a sinking fund that's more exciting, more personal. Like last year was my Morby purse, for example. I like to have one that's not just like everyday Christmas, birthdays, car. I like to have one that, that just brings a bit more joy. And this was this envelope was that this year. And I just feel like it might take me... What happens if it takes me like five years to be able to save to take them there? They might not even want to go by the time I can afford to do it. Anyway. We're going to continue with the sinking fund. We're going to keep going. I'm going to try my best to think of other ways to kind of fill that if necessary. But my, my budget is so tight now. So, anyway. So, they are my sinking funds. So, I've got Disneyland, clothes, car, school, which is the one that's empty, school holidays, birthdays, which is upside down. That's annoying me. I'm going to change that. And Christmas. And yeah, that's my update for July. So do you have any singing funds? How are yours going? Are yours hitting your targets or are you kind of a bit behind like me? Let me know down in the comments below how you are getting on with yours. And like I say, I'll leave a link to the binder and the envelopes in the description box below. They're just from Amazon. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon.